today I'm going to talk about my everyday carry or so called PDC throughout the community. The items that I carry daily to my workplace, outside and other places. These are the items I carry every day. My wallet, my keys, my flashlight, my thumb drive, a pen drive, or pen drive, and a USB OTG, and a pen, a utility knife, and my phone which I use to record this video. First of all, the main thing I carry for my EDC are my wallet, my wallet which I purchased a year ago after my short term wallet was torn. This wallet was made by Alain Delon. The exterior and the interior are made of leather. Except for the middle section area, I mean the cash compartment and the identity card area are made of plastic. Hey, I'm sorry, it's made of uh, nylon for the cash compartment and for the identity card is made of a plastic and the color are fully black I mean sometimes it look great depending on the lights here is the cash compartment uh, you can keep up to 20 30 notes here in my country Malaysia the largest denominator are 100 ringgit and the smallest denominator are 1 ringgit for your information the smallest and other medium size notes fit in perfectly but the largest denominator note does not fit in very well uh, here is the sample if I put the largest denominator note You see here this part it does not sit inside the small portion of the nose will fall apart it's just a two nodes if you imagine if I put like 10 nodes of of course the largest denominator node the hundred ringgit will come out if your country nodes are big then of course they will come out as well on the left side I do keep my identification card and my license card on the right side, I do keep my bank card and other points card, but it still feels perfectly fine to keep on your back or front pocket. For this wallet, you can keep mm, up to eight cards without making it look bulk. You may push the limit by storing. 10 to 12 cards. Let me remove the cash first. At the behind area, you can put another one or two card here. Mm. It's look a bit stylish if you want to remove it. You can use it, but I rarely use. Except if I use the card very frequently. After a year of usage, the leather has become a little soft. Yes, maybe this area, the, the roughness has gone. And of course, because the color of this wallet are black, so it does not have any patina except for the, except it has become a soft. That's all for the wallet. And second is my key. Uh, this is my mopper bike, the ignition key, and the padlock key. And of course, my house key is here. For the key section, maybe I will try to minimize uh, because I I don't carry too much of key for the house section. Okay, and for both, 
uh, I'm using a carabiner key holder to organize or hold my key. I have been using this for very long time. Even the color are chipping away from blue and red to a silver color. But it has been serving so good. The downside of this carabiner key carabiner key holder is the spring malfunction here this one usually will be like loose or it could be like break or it could be like this if you see yeah it will be stuck like this and it will happen if you frequently use to remove it and the cost to buy this at Malaysia around 2 ringgit I've converted to USD uh, 0 0.50 cent only here is the flashlight that I'm using mm. the overall shape is round as you said uh, the exterior is made of a steel and the above clicking area are made of rubber the button color is green and the body color are black and there is two silver ring even at the top and the bottom and if you see the colors are chipping away so because of the paint so inside so overall is like a silver color if it's fully if the color are fully chipped for myself uh, I found the what the flashlight are very important because uh, I use it very often at my workplace to find some things maybe if I went I drop something below my work table uh, something like that mm. actually previously uh, I don't use flashlight much until I drop my apartment access card below the car seat right. the struggle is real to find the card by using my phone flashlight from that point I started to carry the flashlight before that I was using my phone flashlight and for the light color it's not orange but it's a blue Yes, it's like more like an LED color, but it's not an original LED color. It's not an original LED, but it's given a blue tone to it. The convenience of flashlight is it fits inside your hand. You can hang it on sometime. Because I previously got a keychain, but I remove it. Here is the key. Here is the loop area you can put inside something and even you can hold it in your mouth in case of emergency and actually uh, this flashlight has been hanging at house without no one using so I grab it for myself I get this flashlight for free so no cost added And for pen drive or thumb drive, I'm using a 64 GB mm, sand disk USB 3.0 transfer to transfer my file in case of emergency or listen to song while driving by mount the pen drive at car entertainment system. Uh, I bought this around $15, maybe a ringgit Malaysia around. 64 and I have a USB OTG to transfer files between my phone and the thumb drive it's very handy for myself I bought it for around three dollar if converted from ringgit Malaysia mm. if you are using an Android phone then it's very handy uh, it is how it will look if you attach it Together. It's using a USB 3.0.
the pen that I'm using are a Pilot G2 pen. The pen is made of plastic from top to bottom. The holder area where there is a rubber holder for you to get more grip while writing on the pen. Here the sample please subscribe sorry for my writing if you're not yet subscribe to my channel please subscribe and the top pressing style are tactical type so that the writing tip available for you to write once you press to be honest even the price is affordable actually it's not affordable it's actually cheap and the feeling of writing are satisfied and smooth and the price of this pen are around one to two US dollar if converted to ringgit Malaysia where I bought it it's around five to six ringgit you can buy the refills area separately once the product refill are empty maybe you can buy three of three I think in one packet you can buy it is going to finish left few only there is a spring inside uh, I mean at the below part you can get the pilot G2 pen in 0.5 mm tip and 0.7 mm tip the one I'm using are 0.5 mm because I feel like for me 0.7 mm the writing feel too thick for me 0.5 mm is just nice for knife I'm using a utility knife or known as a stationary knife mm, I carry this knife, this knife because in our country Malaysia we are not allowed to carry a folding knife with a length of more than three inches if you carry and uh, you get caught by police then you may get arrested for it okay. and we come to this knife okay the exterior of this knife are fully made with plastic even the body area this locking area the sliding area mm. and the top the color of this knife are blue overall and then there is a black color on top of this and here is the the sliding area in the lock and you don't get a uh, lock uh, uh, sorry you don't get a clip to hook it to your pants or anything since uh, it's fully made of plastic except for the blade area it does not feel the weight or feel premium while holding it on your hands but it's very sturdy advantages of this knife as I said it's very sturdy which you can use to cut boxes and tapes you can break the tip I mean this tip by using the top but but here mine is a broken uh, you can use it so it's end of a life for this once if here this part is gone then of course I will need to throw it or if I have another utility knife or other thing maybe I will break it to use it for the other sections as I said uh, these uh, knife do have lock to avoid the blade movement while cutting an item so that it don't go inside if you put some pressure on it while cutting something this kind of utility knife or stationary knife are standardized even you can buy the blade separately and advan these advantages are the exterior are easily break because the exterior are made of plastic as I see as you see here I have broken because I have dropped it multiple times so it breaks 
Um, and of course I using a lot so it still can be used but I will say that this part is not very sharp really and yes the blade do get rusted after some time for overall uh, this knife are uh, doing the job if you guys if you guys have made through until this part sure you all will wonder where is the phone in the thumbnail of this video as i said earlier uh, i used my phone to shoot this video the phone that i am using are oneplus 6 with 60 g 64 gb of memory and 6 gb of ram the phone color are mirror black and i have put a camouflage device screen to white fingerprint that's all for today's video Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video if you enjoy. And comment your daily EDC on the below comment section. See you on next video. Bye. Peace.